So if you're looking at my beautiful face, it's probably because you wanna learn how to navigate internet 3.0 using MetaMask. Well, I could do exactly that. I've been trading cryptocurrency for six years and I've been using MetaMask before it was popular. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys tips and tricks. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to save money on gas fees, how to reverse transactions, and the whole entire nine yards about MetaMask and all the little details that people tend to leave out. Um, and I'm actually not gonna waste your time at all. We're just gonna get straight to the point like exactly right now. Okay, so I hate when people waste my time. This is the first thing I wanna show you. This is basically the ecosystem of decentralized finance as well as there's some other applications that don't have to do with finance. Um, but there's definitely a lot of smart contracts in this ecosystem. This is Web 3.0. These smart contracts are autonomous. They run themselves and you have to connect to them in a different way. Now this right here, this square at the bottom, this is your MetaMask Chrome browser. And this is like a vehicle to navigate the internet 3.0 and the decentralized web, right? So basically this interface is gonna be used in almost anything. You're gonna connect it, right? You're gonna connect it to the smart contracts and it's, it's just a beautiful site. It's just a beautiful thing. So MetaMask right here, again, is just a Chrome extension. So all you have to do is download it, click download now, go through the process, get the Chrome extension up and create your account just like any other wallet. Guys, if you want the breakdown on how to create the wallet the right way, top level security, extra stuff, you know the deal, fundamentalsecrets.com, we have it all broken down in great detail. Kind of just cut the BS, you know, get straight to the point when it comes to your cryptocurrency uh, career. Um, and, you know, just kind of stacking the deck in your favor. That's basically what we have to offer. Go ahead and click the link below. You guys know my, my deal. I shield my projects so I don't have to, you know, show other people's uh, stuff. So yeah, go ahead and do that. Um, but another thing with MetaMask, which is really important, when you download it, just make sure that sometimes, you know, I know for a fact it works with Chrome, but there's some other browsers that might have issues with it. So go ahead and use Chrome, in my opinion. You could also use Brave, but there's been conflicting issues uh, with MetaMask because they have their own version of MetaMask. Just be careful with that. But I just, I, I like to use it on Chrome and you should probably be, should be using Chrome anyways. It's the best browser in my opinion, at least. Um, and if you don't like advertisements, then the Brave browser will block that because I know some people use, um, you know, Firefox for that reason. So just to give you guys a heads up on that, but this wallet right here can be used for a variety of features. But the first thing you gotta do is really fund your account. So this is an example of my MetaMask. If you don't have Ethereum in it, um, you know, if you don't have any cryptocurrency, you're not gonna be able to start transactions. All the transactions you do, all the moves you make on the decentralized web will cost money. Some of them, you know, one cent, some of them, you know, $20, depending on the gas fees. And we're gonna go over the details and exactly how to save money. Um, you know, when you navigate this internet, et cetera, et cetera. So this is gas station. Um, now, the first thing I wanna show you, so if you could look here, recommended gas prices in Gwei. Right now at this exact moment, they calculate the gas fees and the congestion of the network. And if you want a standard transactions, you use 58 Gwei. If you wanna use a fast transaction, 67. If you're trying to get to the trade ASAP um, and you wanna guarantee the actual, the price that you're trying to buy the coin at or whatever the case is, uh, you can do an ASAP trade or a trader trade at 70 Gwei, at least right now. This dynamically changes according to the market. So this is a really cool uh, you know, tool that you can use, ethgasstation.info. Go ahead and use that with your trading. Um, and it's really useful. And I'll show you how to set up the advanced features and everything like that. So after you download your MetaMask, you get your wallet and you save your private key. Now, just to give you a heads up, write down the private key, have it in physical form. Do not, the private key is that, that long code. It's like a 12 seed phrase. Save it the right way. Don't, this is like the most important thing because this is like gonna give you access to your, your wallet just in case your computer you know, goes down and you, you have to wipe your hard drive or you, know, you just forget your password. This seed phrase will be the actual physical ownership of the currencies that are in this wallet. So if you don't have the seed phrase, you lost all your money. Don't save it in physical, you know, don't like screenshot it and save it on your computer because you have, if you have malware on your computer, somebody can have access to all your money. So my best recommendation is to write it down, the private key. I'm not gonna show it in this video for, for obvious reasons. We have a lot of things to cover, but the private key, I just wanna have that discussion with people because most people are, are lazy and sloppy with it. And those are the exact people that lose all their money. So just be careful, save that private key somewhere good, fund your account with Ethereum, and then you can now start using uh, this decentralized web wallet. Now, before we jump into any decentralized platforms and actually utilizing a transaction, I wanna show you some features that you should be using uh, with MetaMask. Now, you can create multiple accounts if you want to and save multiple private keys. Um, also, you can connect your hardware wallet. So if you have something like a Ledger or a Trezor, all you have to do is click connect. Um, and then you could do the Ledger or Trezor. I'm not gonna go through the steps of it, but it's really cool to use because let's say hypothetically you're navigating and then you leave the room. As long as you leave with this, um, you have to verify it twice. So when you're using MetaMask normal through the web browser, which is the Chrome extension, um, there's only one verification where you press accept. 
When you're using this, you actually physically have to press accept on the device and you have to press accept on the computer. So this is where the money is at. And it's, a, it's just a little safer solution. Personally, I have a small percentage of my money on the actual web browser and I have you know, the, obviously I keep more percentage of my money on here. I have a diversified strategy for storing my cryptocurrencies, but for this case, um, we're not gonna jump into that, but you do have the option for increased security uh, with MetaMask or any ERC20 token. So if we come back to the actual MetaMask wallet and you click over here on this little icon right there, and we actually click settings, you can do some things and there's two things I want you to turn on. The first thing I wanna do is go to advanced right here. And I want you to scroll down to advanced gas controls. Most of yours are gonna be off. I want you to turn it on because we're gonna be able to look at the gas and control the actual GUI to save money on transaction fees, right? Also, I want you to scroll down and look at customized transaction nonce. This is gonna give us the ability to see the actual nonce and, and edit it so that we can reverse transactions just in case you send off a transaction and you, you just change your mind or it, it got stuck in the blockchain. So sometimes you'll actually have transactions due to congestion, high congestion. It can potentially get stuck. It doesn't mean that you lost your money. It just means that it might take longer to get to the destination. Um, so you can actually reverse the transaction fee to get it back. And we'll show you exactly how it is. It's not guaranteed, but it's pretty simple, straightforward and to the point. So let's actually make a transaction. Let's say hypothetically you wanna deposit liquidity. Now, most of you are gonna make a transaction with Uniswap to swap from one token to another. If you want liquidity strategies and stuff like that, of course, stay tuned to the channel. We always provide that type of information. But for this video and simplicity of it, I just wanna show you how a transaction works so we can manipulate it to you know, save money on transaction fees and I can show you the interface. Now, in this case, we're depositing liquidity for some reason Uniswap is down um, and I haven't had a chance. So let's, try to, let's actually try to load Uniswap and see if it can come through for us this time. But it was giving me this issue for a while. So we can't do like a normal transaction, but like if it comes up, we'll do that. But let's, so let's just look at the liquidity part here for now. So let's say, for example, you went to Curve.Fi and you want to deposit USDC, which I have in my account. I have some money, as you can see here, it's USDC. The first thing you would have to do is actually connect your wallet to the decentralized platform. So if you don't see any of the features that we have here, it's gonna ask you connect your wallet and then you press accept and have to type in your password that you created with the actual wallet. Once it's physically connected, you will be able to see the features of the decentralized wallet and you'll see the interface. And, and this, is, this is a bad example of an interface. They're, they're on purpose trying to look old school, but you know, you'll see other interfaces like Uniswap or Compound Finance, right? So compound finance looks something like this that you can see and you just click app, right? You click the app and then look, as you can see here, it says connect wallet, mine's already connected. So you can just do something like that, as simple as that, right? So if we go to KyberSwap, instead of using, a, um, because as you can see here, Uniswap is not loading for some reason. Let's try to use KyberSwap and see what we could do there. Um, so you guys can see it, this is KyberSwap. So basically all you have to do is connect your wallet just like anything else, right? All right, let's see, kyberswap.com. Um, just make sure it's the right website. You know, you don't want to, you want to click on any malware or anything like that. So this is Kyber's Network's decentralized exchange. Um, so let's say you want to connect the wallet, right? And you click MetaMask. You could also do the Trezor. You could do any of these, right? And then you connect the wallet. This is exactly how you connect them, right? Very simple, straightforward. We're in there, right? It didn't really cost any money to do that. So all you have to do is like, for example, you wanted to do 25% of your ETH. You could swap it to Kyber Network, press swap now. And then it's gonna show you something like this. So they give you this information, right? So you have your wallet. Um, they're gonna send it to the Kyber Network proxy, which is gonna automatically swap it to Kyber Network tokens and then send it to you. Okay, they're giving you the max transaction fee, uh, which is 40 GUI gas price, gas limit. You can press confirm on that, but you're gonna be able to edit it. So as you can see here, you can literally, since we turned on the advanced features, you can edit the gas price. Now, if we come back to the website itself, where it talked about gas station, and we refresh the page so we can make sure we get the right. So it says standard is 29. So if you wanted to save money on gas fees, all you'd have to do, come over here to the actual wallet, right? And then you can change this to what it said, which was what? Come back over here, it was 29. So you actually click the wallet and then you can put it to 29 like this. And there you go, or not 0.29, but actually 29. And that would be an example of you, you know, saving money on transactions. Now let's say hypothetically, you wanna reverse the transaction. So let's say I sent out this transaction. I'm not gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna reject it. But let's say the nonce, so that's the nonce, right? That's the number that they're using to identify this transaction was 145, right? So just remember that number and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So let's say I send this transaction out and I'm like, oh man, I gotta, you know, I don't want this Kyber Network token for whatever reason. I wanna reverse the transaction ASAP. So what I'm gonna do, just pretend I sent it. I'm just gonna reject it for now, right? 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another transaction with the same nuns. So the nuns was 145. So I will go to my wallet, right? I'm gonna make the transaction send nothing back to myself. It's just gonna make a transaction with no actual physical, you know, Ethereum in it. Um, and then I'm actually gonna, it's gonna be used to cancel the, the outgoing transaction, if that makes sense. It's hard to explain, but just, just follow with me here. So I'm gonna take my exact address, my Ethereum address, okay? If you guys don't know how to trans send transactions, refer to other tutorials. Um, and I'm going to press send, okay? So I'm gonna send it to myself. I'm sending a transaction to myself. Now, I'm not gonna put any Ethereum, remember, like I said, in the gas price, if it depending on the transaction, I would recommend to put the gas price higher than your actual transaction so that it can like, it can get, take its position. Because if you understand how Ethereum works, there's basically gas, everybody's competing for a, a position on the block. And the higher the gas price, the more chance you are to get into that block to get confirmed in your transaction to go through. So if you want to beat them to the block so you can kick them out and your, this transaction overrides it, you can put a higher gas price than what you originally did, right? So when you put that gas price, you press next, and then they're going to give you an opportunity to put a custom nonce. And if you already sent the first transaction, it won't be 145 like this. It's just remember, I didn't send a transaction yet. It will actually be 146, right? So in this case, you can delete the 146 and put 145 and then press confirm and it will attempt to avert your transaction. So this is like the, the, the top level, most legitimate way, in my opinion, uh, to reverse a transaction. None of this is guaranteed. They're also on the website. The actual interface itself will give you the option to cancel transactions. So when you see it pending, there's actual a physical button you can press that will pop up. I just gave you the complicated version to show you how to do it just in case it gets stuck, right? So if it's pending, you can technically try to cancel the transaction. Just understand that when you're canceling it, you're also paying another gas fee. So that's the only thing you lose when trying to cancel it. But yeah, now there's another trick really quickly I wanna show you guys, which is basically transaction inputs and the time it could take to get, so you can get literally estimates of how long your tra transactions can take. So let's say we just use what they had, the standard and the average way, or you press submit, you can see that they actually give you a prediction of how long it's gonna take. They, they predict that it's gonna take, you know, 277 seconds to get through with this transaction, right? So if you did something like, you know, cheap, right? And press submit, you can see that the time for the transaction to confirm increases, right? So that's just a little tool you can use to, you know, if before you wanna send a transaction, you wanna just like detail, you know, take your, your GUI, the, the customized GUI that you have and put it into the system and the gas used, um, and then, you know, go ahead and calculate your gas price, right? So, and how long it's gonna take. But yeah, that's it for this video. This is as much as I can jam pack into MetaMask. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. If you want me to do a follow-up video explaining, like answering all your questions, I can definitely do that. Again, leave a comment below and we'll dive into it. But that's it for this video, guys. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Catch you in the next one. <laughs>